Gosh, it's hard to believe it's been 30 years since the thriller Aliens first hit theaters. To celebrate, the cast reunited over the weekend, and Chanel got to catch yes, up with them. Yes, this oh, was cool. a treat. So Sigourney Weaver, director James Cameron, and the all-star cast all in one place at Comic-Con in San Diego. I sat down with them to talk about how the Oscar-winning film is still a classic after all these years. It's a film that preyed on our darkest fears about space. What really is out there? The 1986 thriller isn't the only thing to stand the test of time. The bond between the all-star cast is unmistakable. So if I were to ask you guys 30 years later how you would sum up Alien. The gift that keeps on giving. Aliens is a cult classic and would prove to be just the beginning of a long list of blockbusters to follow for both director James Cameron and producer Gail Ann Hurd. Jim and I, it was like, it was our first studio movie. Back then, people didn't make sequels like they do now. They thought that a sequel will cost twice as much and make half as much at the box office. So this was a real roll of the dice. A roll of the dice that paid off. Aliens earned seven Academy Award nominations, including two wins, an incredible rare feat for a science fiction action film. My favorite day was when I was holding the flamethrower. I love the look that Sigourney gave in that, that, that moment, you know, there's some looks, you know, and she has that look of like, should I do this, should I do that? Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> now what about you, Paul, when you're filming? I mean, you seem like a, a funny guy, but you played such a great jerk. That's so sweet. Now that is so sweet. <laughs> it was such a, a fantasy fulfillment because you get to go to work and it looked like whatever your nightmare would be and it felt real. But pulling off such a thriller wasn't easy in 1986. Remember, this was pre-CGI. No fancy computer effects or green screens existed. In fact, the infamous Alien Queen was a human-operated puppet. It was all hydraulics and puppetry. There were two guys inside the Alien oh, Queen really? in the body operating the arms. Sigourney Weaver reveals she tried to avoid the set when the Alien Queen wasn't in character. She wanted to, well, stay scared of it. I believed in the Queen. I thought it was better for me to, you know, really deal with her as a, as a completely realistic entity. For all we know, there is a Queen someday. The aliens and the characters, all unforgettable. I prefer the term artificial person myself. Like fan favorite Bishop, an artificial life form, played by Lance Henriksen, now 76. I've aged, but they built that into Bishop so that, <laughs> so that you won't feel uncomfortable that I live forever. <laughs> He's still in character after he 30 is. years. I'm, I'm, He's I'm never great. broken character. And remember Newt, the darling soot-faced nine-year-old who was the sole survivor on LV-426? Turns out she was quite clever in figuring out how to keep sliding in this infamous scene. You said that you kept flubbing the take so that you could run down yes. the slide again. Yes. Ah. I just did it a couple times. <laughs> it's all coming out. Aliens would be her first and only motion picture. Today, she's a fourth grade teacher in California. The film and the bond between the cast has stood the test of time. But what's still up for debate? Do you think there are aliens? Yes, I hope so. Don't know. The jury's out, we gotta find out. I think so. Uh, I think so. I would assume they'd come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they would. And if they did, I think you could dinner at Sigourney's. <laughs> 30th anniversary limited edition DVD set lands on Blu-ray and digital HD September 13th. They promise lots of goodies in there, including a peek into their casting process and the making of Aliens. It was quite, Fun. quite a treat. What an experience for you, too, to be sitting with that iconic it cast. Yes. And how about that for Carrie, for example? She decided to be a teacher. I love that. that. But yet, cool. when she comes to Comic-Con or comes to these conventions, she is a rock star. Yes. She's it, baby. You know I mean? And her classroom, she's a rock star, too. There <laughs> you go. Chanel, thanks. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.